T. Clark here, and this video is going to go over the AP Computer Science A FRQ number 1B. So 1B, we'll, um, we're writing the simulate many days method, which uses the simulate one day. So we're going to use a call to that, and we're going to simulate the number of birds eating, or maybe a bear, at most num days consecutive days. Okay, so the simulation returns a number of days uh, they found food at the feeder. Okay, so let's say we have initially 2,400, and there's 10 birds, right? Yeah, first is birds, and then four days. So on the first day, um, the birds eat. Second day, they eat. The third day, they eat. The fourth day, they eat. And then it returns four because it counted um, that four, four days, yeah. And then at the end, the current food is at 1,260 because that's been subtracted each time. Yeah, so the simulate one day takes care of that subtraction. We don't have to worry about subtracting. We'll just call that method. And then maybe we start with 200, 250, and there's five days, but then it's out on the second day. But there's two days left, because the first day there's food, obviously. The first day always food. And then the second day, um, there was 150 remaining from, from the previous day. But then after day two, there's no more days, or there's no more food, so we're done. And it's only two. And then what happens if there's no food at all? So the simulation with no food, five, uh, five birds, and 10 days, it's zero. And that's it. There's no counting at all. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say, set up my result. And result. My result is a counter. And I'm going to return the result. I always start with that. That's a good way to get started, and especially if I'm, I don't know where to get started. So I'm going to say I'm going to loop over the number of days. So I'm going to do a normal for loop for int i equals zero, i less than num days. So it'll be day zero, day one, day two, or however you want to count it. But the first day will be, um, yeah, this should work. I don't need to keep track of the number of. Um, uh, like I don't need to say this is day one or day two, so I don't I don't worry about that. So I just say start at zero, go through less than num days, and it'll work out. Okay. So no matter what, what I want to do is I want to check to see if there's food. Yeah, I only want to do stuff if there's food. So if current food is greater than zero, so if there's food there, I'm gonna count that day. And then I'm going to simulate that day. Yeah, count the count the day, then simulate. What's it called again? Again, simulate one day. Simulate one day. And what does it need? I'm gonna look it down here. Simulate one day needs the num birds. So num birds. I think that's it. Honestly, that's it. So I'm counting my result. My my result is a counter. If I there's food, I count it. And then I also simulate if there's food, my loop over the number of days, double check. I'm using days, yes. I'm using num birds, yes. And I'm pretty sure that's it. That was pretty simple. Okay, so here's an example. Again, these are random numbers. I have random numbers in my um, simulate one day. I haven't made it fancy enough to have a set random number. So I'm just gonna run it a few times. So original, so here we go. Original food and then the days of food is three. Um, what did I count? I forget. If I have a ton of food and there are only 26 days eating, I, don't, I forget what these are counting. I'm going to look at my main real quick. Normally, you don't have to do main. I just want to see what I'm doing. So I have 5,000. And what am I calling? Okay, four days in the first one. Okay, so the first one is four days. And then I still have remaining stuff. So if I run it again, the first one is still four days and I still have remaining stuff. I guess only if you get a bear, probably, would you run out of food for the first day. Yeah, so I think I had a, a bear eat everything that day. And then my second simulation, my second simulation, I had a ton of food. And I think since I'm running it, how many days am I running it? Let me see, let me see, let me see. So my next simulation, I'm running a 1,000 days, but a bear eats. Yeah, so pretty much the second time I do it, a bear is going to eat no matter what. Yeah, on the seventh after yeah, the seventh day the bear showed up. Tenth day the bear showed up. K, 
Okay, so I think that's it. Let me stop rambling and show off the code and that'll be it. Wait, not this code, this code. Okay, so don't worry about the main. You don't, you don't ever have to worry about the main. Um, that's just to make sure it's running correctly for me. But have a good day.